Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Vox, Tracy here and I didn't think I was going to get to do a video this morning. Um, I've got the dentist, oh, I've got the dentist today so it's not a mega long one. And yesterday we were out all day, we went to see um, Paul, Victoria and Harley and um, well Paul was at work at first so we, we went to see him where he works because it's he works at the MacArthur Glen Shopping Centre. So um yeah, we went to see him there. And of course, I had to buy a few things. Can't go there without, you know, purchasing a few bits and pieces, can you? Sorry, didn't I say it? Bits and bobs. <coughs> There's, there is, um, you know, it wouldn't be, wouldn't be right if I didn't say bits and bobs, would it? So, yeah, we got some bits and bobs. I did, anyway. Um, got a nice pair of sandals for the summer. And... As if I needed one, another bag, but it is well cute. It's extremely cute. And uh, next time I come on, I remember to get them together and show them to you. But um, it was lovely. We had a nice, start, nice time. And Victoria made me a chocolate cake. You know, I said I was craving chocolate cake with like a, a chocolate ganache. So she made me one. <laughs> so yeah, done a huge piece. Couldn't finish it, but wow. It was me it was mega. Of course, Paul finished it for me, even though he had a mega piece of his own. Seriously, that that boy of mine, honestly, he has he must fill up both his legs before he even gets to his stomach, because I don't know where he puts everything he he eats. But you know, he takes after my dad, I think. Anyway, let's do the book, shall we? can't be many left now you know you're old when we're at up to that section neck light it was actually tucked for an old ring light that's why it made that noise um did i do you walk around mostly wondering what you're forgetting which is very apt that i forgot that if i did do that one so we'll do another one uh, you know your old when you have too much room in the house and not enough in the medicine cabinet. Ah! I never have enough room in the house. Not for yarn, anyway. So that kind of doesn't apply to us crafters. Because there's never enough room for your stash, is there really? It kind of takes over the house. It takes over every room of the house. I'm just saying. So yeah, that applies to everyone in the on the planet except people with who um collect yarn okay so this was yesterday's uh -huh. let's see oh another dark one i think this is is that phoenix shand yeah i think it is let's have a look where's my light gone i don't know what i've done with it <laughs> i've stuck it up there it says <clears throat> that's weird i used to work for him boba fett it's even weirder for him, Fennec Shand. So yes, it is. There you go. There she is, Fennec Shand. It's even weirder for him. I should have said it in the voice, shouldn't I? Never mind. But yep, yeah, we're, we're ploughing through it. Can you believe it's April already? Mad, isn't it? And it's spring. So although it's sunny out there now, you know, we can't see. I know it's April, but April showers are not meant to be torrential. Just saying. Last night, when we got back, um, I went out to make sure the cat was in and give us some food and everything else. And uh, it was absolutely hammering down. Luckily, we missed that on the way home. Oh, I finished my tea. Finished my tea. Never mind. I don't feel like this is in the right position. At least I remember to turn it off the tracking. But um, I'm not always sure I'll be able to flip it. I know people say that when I when it's not flipped, I don't look at you. I can't see how. <laughs> but, you know, if I'm looking in the middle and if I flip it, it's got to be looking in the middle. You'd think. But I must be slightly off centre. See, the camera's over there. But I can't. I can't look at that and talk. My eyes are drawn to the fact that I'm there. 
So yeah, I, I always used to have that. You know, it would be great if you looked at the camera and I feel like I am, but it's there. So maybe I'm not. I don't know, it's just off centre, isn't it? Bit annoying. So yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to do all of the stuff that I need to do um, before I go out. I really don't want to go, you know? It's just this childhood misery that I remember of having really, really awful dentists and really awful time um, at the dentist. And uh, it's those ingrained memories that um, make me dread it so much. And yet, in um, more recent years, certainly within the last 10 or 15, every trip I've had to the dentist has been a pleasure. You know, very rarely do I have to have any work done. And when I do, it doesn't really hurt, does it? So, um, you know, I suppose the day that she says that one needs to come out, that's the day that I'm going to kind of, you know, change my opinion and go back to the old way of thinking. But they, um, to be honest, it's actually the cleaning that hurts more than anything for me. It's that water and that, ugh, it's all horrible, isn't it? It's like torture. But at least I don't have to have that done again because I only recently had it done. But I've got to see the actual um, tooth torturer this time round. And um, fingers crossed. I've got, I'm have got. i sure a feeling fell out. But last time I went to see her, she said I didn't need any work, even though I thought it fell out. So I'm really not sure. And I want to leave it because then there is a danger that that will end up having to come out if I don't. But at the same time, who wants to have an injection and do all that? You know, maybe I should just ask them, like, put me to sleep, take them all out and give me lovely teeth. That would be great. Just wouldn't happen though, would it? Not without about ooh, a few thousand pounds. Quite a few thousand, I would say. Mm. And then they would only be temporary. Did you know that implants only last about 10 years? That's a bit much, isn't it? But why? <laughs> it's like they're not real. Yeah, I mean, they should last a lot longer than that, shouldn't they? Well, I, I just feel like they should anyway. So, <clears throat> I have a huge box of yarn. I told you kind of um, on my message um, last night when I said I might not be able to do my chats because last night was too late when we got back. And I didn't think I, I thought I would sleep in and then get up and have to sort of shower and go to the dentist, but it didn't really work out that way. But um, yeah, I have a huge box of yarn, which like when I get home later on, hopefully I can disassemble, show you, and then eventually put them all on. And um, I have some um tulip order on its way because i'm now completely out of eye coordinators again and um i have ordered some as well as other things and um i heard yesterday that they say oh we've now got all your mandalas in stock just give us a call and pay for it and we'll send it trouble is i bought all the other stuff and it's like ah oh, i've got to pay for it now um but i need to do that so that's another little job i've got to do but um, <clears throat> some of the yarn that I, is in my box is restock, but um, the most of it isn't. Um, so most of it's going to be like more work to put it on and it will take a little while. But hopefully, uh, sometimes I say, oh, give me a little while to put it on. And then by the time that video goes on, it's actually on because I get stuck into it. But it depends what opportunity I get. We were going to go out this evening. I'm going to go and see Gary's brother, but his other half's working, so... We're not going now, so at least it will give me some chance. But uh, I'm kind of looking forward to like life getting a little bit back to normal now, so that I can just have a bit of a breast, <laughs> bit of a bit of a rest, not a breast. That's something completely different. <laughs> I didn't mean it. <laughs> Yarn boobies. That's obviously what I meant. But um, yeah, have I need to have a rest because you know I would say like I've been burning the candle at both ends, but. I think my candle lost its wick a long while ago, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, I got Gary a new jar yesterday. 
I think he was a little hard done by because, uh, you know, I, I did spend quite a bit of it. Bought Gary a jar. No, I did buy him a, I did buy him a figure as well in the car, um, which he said, you can give it to me Christmas if you want. I thought, you know, it's a long while to have that in the cupboard, isn't it, waiting? Because <laughs> his birthday is December, so it doesn't really, it's not much better. But he needed one figure to complete his set of, I think it was only four in that particular set. And he only needed one, so, oh, okay. <laughs> I bought him a figure. But, um, yeah, it spoiled me, though. And a food mixer for a certain person whose food mixer broke. So, uh, yeah, I did, um, it was a good day, though. We went to this bargain warehouse thing. Not not the one that um, we're all familiar with in the UK, which is called, I believe, Bargain Warehouse. It's not that one. It's another one. It might be called something else. I don't know. I can't remember what they're called now. Home Bargains is the one we all know about, but the food, there's the Bargain Warehouse is the one we went to and um they do like bulk and they're bad um sort of very short sell by dates or they're out of stock you know out of sell by date but they're fine that sort of thing so um they did have these funny enough um victoria gave me a little packet of these wipes they're perfect to put in your handbag and so they sell them by a box and you can you can have like a box of 24 packs or something for about a few quid so um I got those. <clears throat> Gary got beers and crisps. <laughs> and, uh, you know, but we didn't buy like much in there. But I thought we bought a few bits. But yeah, we keep saying we're going to go and visit that shop, and we never do. So we actually did, and um, I saw lots of things in the um, outlet that I wanted. Mostly they were shoes and bags. I never used to be a shoes and bags person. I certainly am now. Used to just be bags and jewellery, but now it's shoes. I've got, uh, at least I've got about three pairs of sort of sandals that can sort the summer out now. You know, one's very snazzy and sparkly, which uh, the others are not. You know, they're kind of functional. They're all functional. I made sure they were well comfortable before I bought them, though. And, um, yeah, so I did actually get a nice little bag as well but it's tiny at least it won't be gary saying put that in your bag put that in your bag and on my shoulders getting my more, more weighed down as we go anywhere <clears throat> yesterday i had not because the bag's quite big not only did i have his wallet uh his phone i had his kindle in there and it's like oh <laughs> i was getting a stoop yeah isn't it funny how they will not carry a man bag but they quite happily load you up with all this stuff. True story, that is, you know. Anyway, I can't talk for long because, you know, the um, the dentist torturer slash um, mad, mad, mad axe murderer is, you know, imminent, unfortunately. I don't want to go, I hate it. I do, really. When I was a child, I know I said I was going. Jane will point out that I always say I'm going and I don't. Um, when I was a child, my milk teeth wouldn't fall out. You know, they were too strong. The roots were good, so they wouldn't come out. They got wobbly. A few of them fell out, but not all the big molars wouldn't. And my other teeth were coming out and pushing them out of shape and coming out behind them. I've still got one. Uh -oh. but it's out of shape because of it. So they said, oh, we'll have to uh, take them out. We should have to have like five. It's either five or seven. I can't remember now. But I had to have quite a lot out. And um, so they gave me gas. <laughs> so I, was a bit, I was only a child. I was tiny. So that was scary experience, right? But it didn't hurt, obviously, because I was knocked out. And um, <laughs> my mum said they couldn't wake you up afterwards. Probably the best sleep I've had in a long while. But they said she was getting really worried because they couldn't wake you up. Felt instantaneous for me, obviously. Anyway, after that experience, I didn't really need anything done until we moved here. And on this island in the 70s and early 80s, well, I think it was mostly on the mainland in the 80s, but the dentists were dreadful. 
they were barbaric and they didn't seem to have a clue about dentistry and they were just well they did some really ridiculous things and um it made me terrified of dentists i tell you the gas wasn't such a bad so at least i went asleep for that you know a couple of times i got knocked out for things and that was that was perfect but they stopped doing it and um you know and, and i had some awful experiences like that one that's um out of line they decided to take a perfectly healthy tooth out in front of it thinking they'd move and of course they didn't because they didn't give me a brace so they're all kind of like you know out of alignment but i don't like that because it's in, it can't yeah. rather than be pushed out which this one is a little bit yeah the one that's behind it is kind of side by side it's just ridiculous but it doesn't cause me any problems it doesn't hurt my tongue or anything like that so but yeah i hate i hate dentists because of those experiences back in the kind of the 70s and 80s my experience with dentists was absolutely awful and if they were like they are now i wouldn't wouldn't have those fears i wouldn't have those um those problems i don't know but i think you know to be honest nhs dentists back in this country in that time were atrocious but if you lived in america for instance then everybody was happy about dentistry so i think you just had all the good ones and we had all the bad ones that's what i reckon they probably practiced on us and then they went and did it properly on on you guys across the pond i don't know but uh or we should have just sent all our dentists over there to learn. But then they wouldn't have wanted to come back. <laughs> and learn a pittance compared to your dentist. I don't know. I guess that's what they say, isn't it? You pay your peanuts, you get monkeys. So maybe ours didn't earn enough money. So we got butchers instead. Butchers probably earned more money. <clears throat> no, I don't think so. Uh, but, you know, when you consider... That if you go to the dentist even for a polish these days, you're looking at £75 to go just to have a, you know, a hygienist for what, uh, let me say, don't even take 10 minutes, does it? Um, five minutes max and £75, please. Thank you very much. That's going straight in my back pocket. It's a racket. It really is. I think I ought to learn to become a hygienist. <laughs> Charge 60 quid and get all of the customers that's what i really ought to do if i could stand looking in people's gobs that is mm. that you know and being someone who looks at their feet not really the best jobs in the world are they anyway i'm gonna go because i'm waffling on about dentists and only because i'm terrified of going but you know i've got to do it so thanks for watching i promise i won't mention dentists again um well, not today anyway. So watch out later for some yarn. It proves to be gorgeous. Well, it, it promises to be gorgeous. What it looked like when I ordered it. It did look amazing. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Wish me luck. Bye for now.